A case of mistaken identity almost got this pigeon executed. The whole debacle started when Kevin Selly Bird saw this pigeon flying around his home in Melbourne, Australia. And it was pretty emancipating. So I crushed up some biscuits, gave it some dry biscuits, and then we went about our way. And the next day, it was back, or it was back, had another drink, walked around the yard, and so I actually saw it well, belongs to someone, I could see it had a band. He noticed that the pigeon was tagged. Selly Bird was able to take down the information on the band and did some research. So I uh, Googled it and it showed up that it's uh, uh, American Racing Pigeon Union and it's uh, registered to someone in Montgomery, Alabama. The bird's speculated origins inspired a name. My wife named him Joe. She was going to call him Donald, but we thought that might not be politically correct. But did Joe fly more than 8,000 miles from the U.S. to Australia? If so, it was in violation of the country's strict quarantine standards for animals, and it posed a biohazard risk. The acting prime minister gave the animal an ultimatum. But if Joe has come uh, in, in a way that uh, has not uh, met our strict biosecurity measures, then uh, Bad luck, Joe. Either fly home or face the consequences. The threat alarmed animal lovers and prompted Australia's Department of Agriculture to investigate further. Officials have determined that the blue racing band is a fake and that the bird is likely native to Australia after all. It was a close call for Joe, who is now a free bird. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Mara Montalbano.